Alright, so uh, my name is uh, Sebastian. My name is Eric. And my name is Jeremy. Tell me about the case study that you were presented with for the competition. Yes, so uh, Rocky Mountain is a cabinet manufacturer that basically receive, uh, receives about twice too many orders to be able to complete those. Uh, and they are currently facing a major com complexity in planning operations. So we had to address this issue and find recommendations to improve uh, Rocky Mountain's operations. Our solution is a flexible and dynamic solution that gives power to the managers, such as a planner, that can use our interface on a daily basis. And this interface will tell him in an automated way which orders should be done in which sequence and where his worker should work. How has participating in this competition helped you prepare for the real world? I would say it's the biggest project I ever worked uh, on. It's uh, countless hours of, of uh, using Arena, using Excel. Uh, just for a PowerPoint, it was uh, such a big uh, uh, work. It was really fun. It was a real life uh, case, uh, and we were really impressed by that. Uh, we saw that at the end of the. Uh, to, actually, we learned that today. That was a real life case. So we were actually really happy and thrilled about that. So. It's really fun. It was a nice experience. Okay, well, we wish you guys luck. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. So, um, Rocky Mountain, as uh, you know, is a cabinet manufacturer based in Colorado. Uh, they're slowly transferring to a more mass production system. Uh, so they face a lot of challenges. Uh, two challenges that Team ATS found was the first one, um, there's the la large demand that caused a significant amount of overtime. And the second challenge would be a difficult labor market. So they have a lot of demand and not enough employees to feed that demand. So Rocky Mountain needs to increase their overall production to capture their market opportunity. In order to do this, Team ATS set for objective to be able to increase the current system capacity and demonstrate that an Arena model based on a digital twin can um, significantly improve the day-to-day -day operation for Rocky Mountain. So, uh, let's just take a bit of process overview of how Rocky Mountain Caratu actually works right now. So they have three lines of operations. The first line is a stock cabinet, so there's eight workstation. This is their main line because they have around 50% of the orders that comes from this line, this production line. Then the second line would be the semi-custom one, where there's two steps. The first steps uh, is the framing step where there's eight workstations and the second one is the assembling uh, step where it has, which has 11 workstations. The last, last, the last one, but not the last, the custom uh, workbenches, uh, the so there's six workstations. On top of that, they have an inspection policy where they will inspect uh, traditionally uh, all the all cabinets to ensure uh, a decent quality. And if there's a defect, uh, they will either send the, the cabinet to the last person who worked on it, or uh, send it to the rework station. And in the last case, if it's a big defect, they will send it directly to the custom workbenches. So let's take these two um, tasks he has to do. This is an iterative task because he has to do it each day. Um, and this can be probably autom uh, automated with a specific engineering, uh, industrial engineering tools. For the order sequencing, uh, Team ATS proposed to use something like a, a sequencing heuristic. And for the workers at assignation, use a mixed integral DNR program to optimize the whole uh, process to help Justin in his day-to-day -day operations. So to build the model, we had to emit some assumptions. So first of all, all daily orders are assumed to be completed in overtime and for their due dates. The final product storage is uh, non-limited, meaning that we assume that we can always warehouse uh, finished products and it never blocks the, the production lines. Raw materials are assumed to be always available and ready for the production line. And the workforce is assumed to be constant over the planning horizon. Finally, the system always starts with products at each workstation. We uh, then approach uh, our uh, main recommendations based on Rocky Mountain's needs. 
uh, we group our options to evaluate in two, three main categories. The first one is regarding order sequencing. Order sequencing will be tested through various possible heuristics, such as the sort by due date, which is Rocky Mountain standard, and we will compare it to the use of a custom design heuristic. Furthermore, the work area assignation is uh, we will check further into the real work if it's worth dedicating a specific worker for this, those repair duties. And we will check if weekly uh, or daily assignation, optimal assignation is worth investigating. Finally, we will check uh, three main assembling strategies. The first one is using the custom, custom line in order to make other types of products. And we will check if balancing semi-custom framing and assembly lines will be worth it. And finally, we will check if the application of a sampling plan could be an interesting solution for Rocky Mountain City.